Welcome and welcome back guys to this episode of Digital Illustration here where I each week come up with some new tutorials about different painting in Photoshop. Today it is about painting this dessert suite in Photoshop just in no time. So if you want to know all the tips and tricks and the style to cover up these all from a sketch to such interesting textures. Make sure you are with me for the next 15 to 16 minutes and hit the subscribe button, like this video and let's start. I'm in Photoshop. As soon as I come up, I make a new layer here with a document here open on the screen. I'm using the brush tool, the very basic one, brushes from the brush panel by default, making the size very very small. I'm using the left rectangle bracket to make the sizes small and I could increase by right rectangle bracket. You can adjust the opacity or the flow, keeping it 100 this time. I'm just quickly sketching one side part of what I want to be sketched up. Our subject. You can undo it anytime like Ctrl Z and just then just again sketch over there. I'm not pretty happy with the plate. I'm trying a nicer curve. Make sure all of the areas that you are painting, the edges, are joined, like are closed. There are no white space gaps in between. You can just paint it from the other side also, but I would recommend to just select this Ctrl J for duplicating the layer and then just with the transform tools like this, adjust it and make the second similar copy. Use the particular layers that you can see on the layer panel. There are two layers right now. I am using each of them particularly for erasing the extra inking areas that I don't want to be in my sketch. So once you get rid of that, you can just merge both the layers together and I am adding some few more subject the sketch just duplicating it so that you can see the step by step on the screen also with the magic wand tool i am using to select it the part one by one expanding it from the select menu by two pixels or four pixels then just coloring it up in a new different layer each color that i am picking up is from the color panel color swatch and then just making a new layer and filling it up there Picking the selection, making the selection from the sketch layer and making a new layer and painting the thing over there. Now I am using a dark brown color kind of this to fill up this area. Make a new layer, go to the sketch layer, select the magic wand tool, select the area, go to select, modify and expand the selection. Then just make a new layer and paint it inside or switch to that new layer and paint it inside. You can use these similar colors for your project or you can use your own color palette that you want. And just quickly finish up the basic color of the subject. One by one. You can see there are lots of layers in the layer panel right now. But don't worry, these all are going to be very very useful in the next step. Hit Ctrl D for deselection. You can select all the coloring layers and group it up and just again Ctrl J or Alt and drag to that duplicate that subject and I am quickly making the layer masks. If you have seen already, you know, click on the color, click on the layer panel, layer thumbnail of that particular layer and then hit the layer mask icon from the layer panel below. And I am just picking up the gray color. And with the multiply tone of the brush mode, multiply mode and a lower opacity. I'm just painting it up there so that it is a nice darker shade for the very base. Starting from the very base, then you can switching the color to white, you can see now edges are quite bright. And I'm using the soft round brush here. If you're enjoying this session, make sure you hit the subscribe button and be with me till the end of this video. Here you can see, I'm just making few more adjustments in the colors by using the that particular gray so that the edge is not going too much 
in the highlights but also holds the shape. So now switching to the next layer here with the quite lighter brown color and the soft brown brush and the normal blur mode, normal mode of the brush tool. I'm just painting inside so that it gives a nice texture of highlight here for a darker shade and switching to the darker color. I keep in mind that where the light is coming from, how it could be affecting that particular subject texture. You can anytime adjust the masking, senses the colors over there like I'm doing for this particular brown layer. Adding few colors from inside and now switching to the basic yellow texture. For that I'm switching to a different color of a little orangish for making the shade. This side also, a little bit from the down for the brighter color I'm using a lower opacity and making the texture for the highlight area. Isn't it picking up the right direction guys? Like the things are coming up nicely. Darker areas, a little lower in the brush size, a smaller brush and making all lower textures. You can use the hard brush and very very tiny size of the brush making the linear textures now switching to the upper layer and again this is the brown for that I am using the lighter grayish kind of color so that it gives a nice reflection texture now with the darker color making the shadow areas or you can see blending it together with a kind of little maroonish red I am using the below layer to make the blurry edges and I will be switching to the upper layer also so that both the layers can blend together like it does not feel like it's something apart it should come up as a nicely blended together thing like it's the top of that so I'm just using both of these together and with a lighter color in the same tone you could try out with different different colors like switch to different color and see how it is working on that particular area and always keep in mind that you are using the right opacity now it's time for the cream on the top and I'm using the little pinkish color so just switching that background color to the foreground and using it in the here blending it together nicely you could use for the shade also from the side so that it is blended and again for the cherry one I'm just quickly using for the cherry those colors and we are pretty done with the thing so now it's time now it's time for like something highlights spotlights you could say you add those in different layers I'm using a simple white for the spotlight and then mixing it with that particular areas particular colors adding a reflection of the subject in the down area here Isn't it looking great guys? The things have come up so nicely for this particular subject that it's now time to add another copy of this and making the particular backgrounds. For making the background, I'm making a new layer below that particular group and just making a lighter color background, a much more lighter. Yes, like Ctrl D for deselection on, you can simply make a layer mask. Now use the blue color and make a background make a background here and for the base you can see it's nice color texture and then just using the soft and just using the hard round brush with a gray color 
simply painting for the shadow area you can try two different gray tones like a lighter and a darker to make a density or intensity of the particular shadow and i'm making a layer all above and painting it with the different area with a gray color what i'm doing is just lowering the opacity of the black particular layer so that the shadow come up very nicely i hope you guys enjoyed this session and learned a lot about how to paint the environment and the shadows along with the subject and if yes then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video share it with your friends and we will meet in another video